Magnetic fields have been a curiosity for thousands of years. A magnetosphere is the sphere of influence of a magnetic field. A new adventure begins. Start making a wish list for JunoCam. After all, it's your camera. We got our mission to Jupiter. It took off somewhere in the 2000s, and it got there at the 4th of July to signify that freedom would return soon to this slaver planet. And now, Juno Jupiter is part of NASA's New Frontiers program, which was designed to transcend their old, weird, strange, shot and fruit, misconception, long explanation, dog paddle, punch the donkey in the butt, we're sorry, all the balloons are popped, space agency, which is managed at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. And now, tie yourself to the bow, for we listen to Jovian sirens sing in the form of Jupiter's auroras. Oh yeah, and they put Legos on the mission. And we are well on the way, or so they say, oh, we I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Today we have... Hey, great news. I get to continue to keep the Jedi Juno Jupiter series Blue Pill. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, warning, this is a Thor News Blue Pill series. If you're in the mood or the mindset to be a cynical stick in the mud, this is not the place for that. For the world is filled with too many liars, thieves, cheaters, dickweeds, and overall garbage hearts who have just been too weak and too wounded to reach their potential. So every once in a while, I need a little bit of fantasy without somebody else sticking their dicks in it. So if you don't want to listen to this, don't listen. Get your shit and get out of here. But feel free to come back for any of my Red Pill episodes. Alright, with that out of the way, let us begin. Hey, looky Lou, I'm over at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, headquartered at the California Institute of Technology, though I cannot verify. I love Jupiter. It is my favorite of all the planets. It's like Saturn, but without all the weirdness around it. It is the king of our solar system, and the sun and his queen. They're a married couple, and that's cool, man. Jupiter's North Pole is unlike anything encountered in the solar system. Hey, man, did you know that 90s NASA had a mission called Ulysses, that went over the North and South Pole of the Sun. Yeah, it's true. I'll do a video on that someday. All right, and we got a lot to talk about. We got this cool pole thingy, and I like it because it looks like a Jupiter's just filled with acrylic and oil paints. And I like to paint. This is posted September 2nd, year of 2016. Jupiter's North Pole, unlike anything ever encountered in the solar system. Jupiter's so pretty. And you know, I know that Jupiter's a male planet, but I'm allowed to think it's pretty and it's not gay, because he doesn't have genitalia. I imagine Earth would be a much more peaceful place if nobody had genitalia. But then I imagine it'd be a whole lot more boring too. I guess there's a trade-off. Either way, I am positive we can find a much better balance than what the hell we have now. Okay, it's moments like this that find me yearning for my Lockheed Martin 
F-35 Blue Jupiter Edition. I want a spaceship so bad, man. All right, are you ready for the science? Let's go. We're looking at NASA's Juno spacecraft. Captured this view as it closed in on Jupiter's North Pole about two hours before closest approach on August 27, 2016. That's right, so the 4K and better data is about to start pouring in. Granted, it's been a frozen molasses witch trickle so far, but at least it's more than nothing. Remember, this is the program that has given us like one picture of Eris and Sedna in 12 years. That's just weird, man. That's just real weird. NASA's Juno spacecraft has sent back the first ever images of Jupiter's North Pole. That's exciting because at times we don't even know where our North Pole is. Taken during the spacecraft's first flyby of the planet with its instruments switched on. What they did is they had all the instruments shut off because Jupiter radiates radiation like the sun radiates light. And so they wanted to get it into a good position, I guess, before turning all the instruments on. The images show storm systems and weather activity unlike anything previously seen on any of our solar system's gas giant planets. And pop the champagne and get crazy in your membrane because Jupiter successfully executed the first of 36 orbital flybys on August 27th, when the spacecraft came about 2,500 miles, 4,200 kilometers, above Jupiter's swirling clouds. The download of six megabytes of data, of six megabytes of data collected during the six hour transit from above Jupiter's North Pole to below its South Pole. Took one and a half days, bro. While analysis of this first data collection is ongoing. Some unique discoveries have already made themselves visible. And then, and, and then, and then you have a clip of audio, which is weird because that's a totally different sense than eyes invisible. During Juno's close flyby of Jupiter on August 27, 2016, the wave's instrument received radio signals associated with the giant planet's aurora. The signals have been shifted on the audio frequency range and are displayed on a format similar to a voice print, showing intensity of waves as a function of frequency and time. The frequency range of these Juno signals runs from 7 to 140 kilohertz. The time span of this date is 13 hours, beginning shortly after Juno's closest approach. Word for the day, Perijove. That means closest to Jupiter. It's like perihelion. Thor listens to Juno listening to Jupiter's auroras. Tie yourself to the bow, for we listen to Jovian sirens sing in the form of Jupiter's auroras. Oh yeah, and they put Legos on the mission. Hello, sea creatures. How are you guys doing? What is the weather like today? There on your planet. First glimpse of Jupiter's North Pole, and it looks like nothing we've ever seen or imagined before, said Scott Bolton, principal investigator of Juno from Southwest Research Institute in San Antonio. It's bluer in color up there than any other parts of the planet, and there are a lot of storms. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, another Thor theory has been verified. I've always associated blue with Jupiter for some reason, and boom, there it is. And there are a lot of storms. Yeah, it's rumored Jupiter can be very moody. There's no sign of the latitudinal bands or zone and belts that we are used to. This image is hardly recognizable as Jupiter. Whatever, man. Whatever, man, I totally recognize it just like that. This image is hardly recognizable as Jupiter. We're seeing signs that the clouds have shadows, possibly indicating that the clouds are at a higher altitude than other features. And that's exactly what the Juno spacecraft does for us, is that it goes there with special instruments in a special orbit and uses its powers to see right through Jupiter's clouds and understand its true nature, which is holding these secrets for us. <laughs> Party dance time. For more about the Juno mission, go to www.nasa.gov slash Juno. For news about the mysteries of Jupiter, our solar system, and more, visit science.nasa.gov.